What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the nameless Axelback exhaust onto my cross track. Um, I got it opened already. I just wanted to show you all the parts that it came with. Looks like it comes with a license plate frame and some stickers. That's pretty cool. I might put it on. Then a gasket set and the screws for the exhaust. And then here she is here. She is beautiful. So this is the stock exhaust, nothing special. All right, this is what it sounds like when you start it up with the stock exhaust. Rev it up a little. Right. Now, it okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do first is separate the exhaust right here in the middle. It's just two bolts that you gotta pull out where they're gonna be pretty rusted. So I suggest spraying them with WD-40 and letting that set for like five minutes before you try to break it loose. Um, and uh, just try your best not to strip the bolt because that would be a disaster. So you're going to want to put the wrench on one end and the socket on the other. And just stop breaking it apart. It's going to take a while to get it out, but it'll come. Just be patient. Slowly starting to split, um, and you got to do the top one too. And it's a little bit longer than you think it is, but it'll come out. Uh, probably do the rest of it by hand. Alright, so I've got that one. Now, now let me reset and I'll do the top one. Alright, so this is actually a few days later. Uh, when I said don't strip the boat, I didn't take my own advice and stripped it. So we had to get creative with the Sawzall. But we got it separated. So next we have to take it apart from the hangers. And it's pretty easy. It's just a rubber piece and it'll pop out. And there's three or four of them depending on which model you have. But there's, mine only has three. There's one here, and then there's two here. And then once you get those out, you should be able to just pull the whole thing out. So we got it out. Here's the new one that we're putting in, the nameless, and then the old one. So it's a good bit smaller, and probably raised a lot less too. So let's get it in. So you're also gonna wanna clean off the old gasket. So you can use a briar brush and then a razor blade to kind of scrape it off. And just make sure it's completely clean so you can get a nice seal with the new one. So I got the new one ready to go in and you just pop it right into the rubber hangers. There's three of them. There's one on this side and two on this side. And it should just go right in and then you're ready to bolt it up. Then you're going to put the new gasket between it. And, uh, make sure you have it nice and even with it so that it creates a nice seal between the exhaust and the car. All right, so I got the two bolts started. And now it's just time to crank them down and uh, that should be it. I would suggest doing a little bit on each side as you go so you don't get it too tight on one side and you're not able to tighten the other side. So do one halfway, then do the other. Alright, I got both of them tightened down. Make sure you don't over tighten them. And, uh, torque them down to your car specs and you should be good to go.
right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.